So one of the things that you may want to do is print prices on your barcode labels. And the problem with doing that is trying to keep up with when they need to be updated. So as an example, one of the things that happens inside of, of Lizzie is we're constantly updating the price files for you whenever a, a new vendor price file comes out. And so you've printed a price that says the park costs $5, for example. And in the meantime, we have updated the price file and it now costs $6. The list price on it is $6. You may also have a markup that's influencing the, the price of that item. And, you know, based on that markup, you may yourself need to print the reprint the label because you've increased your markup percentage, for example, and now what you were selling the part for is lower than what you have or what you're now selling it for. So the question is, how do we really keep up with all of this in, in a way that doesn't drive you crazy? And so I'm going to explain to you exactly how that works in this video. So right now we are in settings, parts, and in the inventory bin section. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to go in here and select the bin locations that we want to print prices. So for example, we may have a bin location called counter, and we always want to make sure that any part that's located in that bin has a, a price on the barcode label when it prints out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come through and edit, or you can do this when you're first creating the bins, but we're going to edit the bin and we're going to check the box up here that says print price on the barcode label. And so you can see here that this particular part that's in the list is already selected that we want to print the prices on that particular uh, item. And so anytime we print a barcode label for an item that's in this batteries bin, it's going to automatically print a price on the barcode. And that price, when it prints out, is going to be influenced by, one, the price that is listed on the part record, it is also could possibly be uh, influenced by a markup, in which case you might even have a primary category that could influence what that price is going to be. So there's a number of things that, that come into play here to dictate what that price is going to be when it prints out on a label. And so the the that part of the equation is the the first step to making this happen. Now the the second step is is okay, well we've printed the parts, we've gone through and we've got all everything labeled, but now how do I keep up with the ongoing changes that are constantly happening? And so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here to this report and right now we're in the report section. We go into the parts inventory and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see a report called barcode analysis. And if you click on that report, and depending on how many parts you've got in stock and, and how many bins you're printing labels for, it kind of dictates how long it takes to open this uh, control up. But this gives us a list of what the previous price, so this is the, the, the price that is currently on any label that happens to be out on the floor. And then this is the price of the part based on its current value. So the, the example here is, first of all, we do not print anything on this list that's not in stock. So if you don't have a part in stock, even if you carried it in the past, it's not going to show up on here. We also do not put parts on here that the prices aren't already the same, so or that they are the same. So if the part was 553 and the current price is 553, it's not going to show on here. So everything that shows on this list are things that actually need a new label printed for them. And so if we then want to print this, this particular item, we just come over here to the right, click the little button, it prints us out a barcode label, and we stick it on the part. So we literally could carry this up to the bin location that we're actually wanting to work with and start relabeling the, the items as we go. Um, so the, the process of running the report and getting the, the list of items that need to be updated. Um, once you print a barcode label, the price that we store in the, in the bin location section will be updated with this new value. And then any future runs of this report won't include that item. So it, it'll only pop back on there if the price has changed to something that no longer reflects what's printed on the label. 